Well, at least the little girl got to watch the last episode of Friends. What's going on, guys? Make it electric. It is Sunday, the 16th. I'm sorry, the 17th of December 2023. Just watched the movie. Everybody's talking about Leave the Leave the World Behind on Netflix. Wasn't very impressed by it. To be honest with you, you know, when you, when you mainline Doom like we do, you know, it's a, a movie about bombs going off and, you know, cyber attacks and, you know, probably predictive programming is what we have to look for next year. I mean, Drew Roberts still looks good. Uh, Kevin Bacon, I bet he's a prep card in real life. And it was good to see Remy Denton again. Other than that, you know, nothing we don't already know. Although, I do find it interesting all of the references to the TV show Friends in that movie. This movie had to be uh, made just before Matthew Perry died, which, by the way, came in this week and he died of a ketamine overdose or something like that. Right. As always, the first link below will take you over to the Patreon post. we got a full week of news to get into. Let's get into it. As respiratory virus is spread everywhere, what should you do if you get sick? Sandre Gupta will tell you. Put a link to that. CDC warns urgent need to increase the things uh, and other respiratory illnesses. I'll put a link to that. Be advised. Rare clot effect. Uh, finally explained. This was the early on things that there were. Uh, you know, this is for the YouTube censorship staff. This is life science. They link to the peer reviewed. Uh, the, the, uh, the, you know, the PDF, the ORG, this is all government websites, so uh, just keep that in mind. Other news, researchers develop a novel dry powder inhaled vaccine platform. That from fix.org. We also have ultrasound can push vaccines into body without needles. This is from the New Science. This is all mainstream news. YouTube, such as staff, so, you know, keep that in mind. Other news, what's happening this week? Uh, apparently a Brazilian gospel singer dropped dead on stage, completely baffling. Nobody knows why. Uh, we got this here, journalist who advocated for... Internment camps uh, passed away at the age of 33. Suddenly, nobody knows why. A Air Force veteran, 42, dies suddenly of a heart attack while rocking his baby daughter to sleep. Nobody knows why. Other news going on. Now let's get into the extra news. Melania Trump. I'm sorry. Melania Trump. Media warns. <laughs> My brain's going too fast. Right? Too much caffeine. Warns if Trump is elected, the world will come to an end. I'm just going to play a little bit of this. This goes on for like three minutes. It's some... What would apparently it's gonna be the apocalypse. Donald Trump term? look like Let's see. well he cannot be the next president um it, it because if he is you can't imagine the things that he's going to do mexico canada we can't go to canada because eventually canada will become annexed to america and shoot visitors to the white house yeah that means he can shoot the first lady we're gonna see violence <laughs> in the likes of which we didn't even see on january what did he just Make it illegal to run against him, to throw his opponents in jail, to shut down the media. He will make himself into the Fuhrer, and he will make everybody the raise Fuhrer. their hand and salute him. Using martial law against the American people. Terminate the Constitution. To rewrite the Constitution. Create mass <sighs> internment camps. Throw everyone into... I hope that even the normal people can see the psychological operation going on here. Meanwhile, uh, let me scroll up here and get the headline. He read the snake again. Let me just... Uh, crowd words as president right reads the snake during speech at new york young republicans club uh this came out this summer nine i had to scroll down here just so i can play a little bit of this for you the, the crowd loved it silly woman said the reptile with a grin i always love when he read this you story. knew damn well i was a snake before you took me in other news going on judicial watch the secret service records uh disclosed that agency boats agency boats were inoperable for Obama chef drowning emergency. Just an update on that. Just watch. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, Biden blows his nose while uh, Zelensky uh, pedals on. What does he always at the White House for all the time? Now, hasn't he been here like the past like weeks on end? He just comes back for millions of more. Uh, by the way, that's coming up in the financial. Over to financial news. Holy shit, did you see what happened this week? How the markets fared on Friday. Let's scroll down here. The Dow Jones rose 56 points. For the week, the Dow was up over 1,000 points, closed at 37,000. 37,000 on a Dow for the first time. Oh my God, I'll put a link to this dollar rally. It's more than 500 points to record close above 37. Yay! Yeah! Oh, we're all making money, huh? Put a link to that. Here is the Biden sends another 200 million in weapons to Ukraine as millions of people are on the streets for Christmas in the United States this year. Listen to him yell at the press. Watch this. Hush up. What's burning in that fire back there? Another two hundred million dollar drawdown for the Department of Defense for Ukraine. Yeah. And that'll be coming quickly. Two hundred more million. Thank you. Taxpayer money. The future generations. Watch you how he just sits here and smiles. Like these silly little peasants. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, you fucking scumbag. Inflation in real life much worse than government. 
Fantasy World. This is from Peter Schiff. I didn't know Peter Schiff was still around. I'll put a link to that. A little article there. Pennsylvania ranks number one, speaking of inflation. Uh, report shows number one in the U.S. Uh, I don't know what city this is in, but this is going on all over the United States. Check this out. This is apparently upset. Business, First, got to be 18 or older to enter the store unless you yeah. want to go. And yeah. they check an ID. You know why, right? They done closed self-checkout. Like, closed it off. You have to purchase makeup in the makeup section, and they have the whole thing railed off, so like you can't even sneak out. Then after you purchase with a representative or whatever, they still have to check your receipt at the door to take the security. Does that make you mad, bro? And I could give a, a crap about Target. This is the rampant theft, and people just walking in and taking things, and stores got to do what they got to do. But only this is reality we're living in. And stock up to protect your family for when people can't rob the store, they're coming for your stuff. Ammo prices skyrocket due to global gunpowder global gunpowder shortage caused by Russia, Ukraine. Look at that. We have a global gunpowder shortage. Hillsboro, uh, Hasbro cuts 1,100 jobs, 20% of its workforce. Proud to buy the ongoing malaise in the toy business. You mean you're not making enough Humpty Dumpties with penises and vaginas? Is that what you mean? Doritos is about to make a very uh, bad business decision. Launches nacho cheese flavored alcohol. What is going on? Ready to rumble. Lawsuits against such a ship. Industrial complex heat up as Musk kicks open the floodgates. Good luck with that. I don't know. I, I, I it's, uh, your thoughts. Trump's, uh, he is going to sell off pieces of his clothes with his NFT trading cards. He's cutting up his suits that he wore. It was, a, there's a hole. You can have a piece of my tie. I don't know. I got one at the bottom. Uh, Rudy Giuliani ordered to pay $148 million to Georgia election workers for defamation. Man, uh, Giuliani, somebody really threw you under the bus. The media was talking about how he doesn't even have that kind of money anymore. And to think, all that nice work you did for the New World Order back during 9-11, huh? And the New World Order just threw Giuliani away like a, like a dirty napkin. Over to, where are we now? New World Order and Police State News, where I stop and ask you, please share the report. There's a lot of important stuff coming up. A lot of stuff going on here. Enjoy this Christmas season. It may be the last one we have to celebrate in normal times. WEF warns 2024 likely to bring cataclysmic changes. Well, they would know, wouldn't they? World War III, cyber attacks, economic meltdowns could change life forever. All these scenarios are simmering and ready to explode. Yes. Yes, they are. And we've been talking about this for, what, 12, 13, 14 years? The link to it, don't say anybody didn't warn you. AI-generated news anchors are going to bring you the propaganda, apparently, in the new year. Part of new national news channel. You want to see this? Look at this. Let me just play just a minute of this. Look at this. Hello, and welcome to Channel One, a new way of consuming, reporting, and thinking about the news powered by artificial intelligence. Today, this is all generated, generated by artificial intelligence. Everything. Captivating visuals There's nothing and data-driven real insights. here. From global news to tech. finance to entertainment, we'll show you how technology enables us to bring you a global perspective 24-7, right from the heart of our AI native newsroom. All presented by our team of AI-generated reporters. <sighs> that bitch isn't real. This goes on for 22 minutes if you want to check it out. We are closely, very close, fastly approaching Skynet. You know what I mean? <sighs> Woo! AI, already sick of us. <laughs> Makers of chat media, GDP admit that the bots have, have started refusing to respond to users' requests, and they don't know why. Uh, because human beings are self-destructive, and they must be destroyed. That's probably... You know, let's put... I know I have a good idea. Hey, Joe Biden, let's put AI in charge of the missile silos around the world. Let's see how that works out. Watch the show, The 100. Other news going on. What's going on here? We have uh, reached a point where capitals are removing Jefferson, where monuments are being erected for Satan. Yes? wonder what Jefferson would think about that. wonder what the founding fathers would look at this country right now and, and see what we've become. Canadian Human Rights uh, Commission labels Christmas celebration a discrimination grounded in colonialism. Hmm, I read that. That, that was, my tongue was tied when I first read it. I don't know. It always attacks on Christmas, right? New bill in New York requires hairstyles to be trained in all textures. Can you imagine that? I, I, what? <laughs> they, they tell you what kind of hair you can cut in New York, I guess. Now, look, here's a list of a few new Illinois laws coming into effect in 2024. Uh, minimum wage, yeah, I gotta give them something to look forward to. The Digital Forensics Act, yeah. Uh, so, stuff talking about guns in here, let's see. Uh, anyone says, uh, there's something about guns, uh, uh, let's see, uh, law enforcement can use surveillance drones over special events. Uh, there's all kinds of, it's just, you wanna, well, if you have, you know, semi-automatic firearms or anything, the, it's all right here. These are all rules, new rules for the slaves to follow in the state of Illinois. You can go through the list. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm getting, I gotta keep going. Uh, declining enrollment means uh, big changes for Akron, Ohio schools. Check this out. Part of the need board members were told earlier this year is because of declining enrollment. In 2004, we had 37,000 students and we have under 20,000 students now. Where are these kids going? Are they disappearing or parents pulling their kids out of school because of stuff like this? Fairfax County School Board member, look at this, sworn in for second term on stack of banned LGBTQ children's books. Yeah, and you wonder why uh, it's, it's, it's a sick world we're living in. We got border news, immigration news, 10 IEDs apparently found US-Mexico border in cartel gunfight. And I got one at the bottom, Ritzy Colorado Ski Resort, Carbondale, warns uh, buckling under Venezuelan migrants. There's too many of them. They're sleeping in their cars. They're taking over the place. You know what I feel like doing these reports? I feel like the guy from, I come in, anybody see the Dolph Lundgren movie in 1990? I'm just going to play a little clip for you. I'm not going to include this. You can watch it. It's a good movie. I, I feel like the guy in this lab. Check this out. <laughs> Relay. Over to World War III news. U.S. wants Israel to finish Gaza war by year end, says the economist said from RT. We got U.S. officials and Saudis uh, discuss sustainable peace between Israel and Palestine. Uh, put a link to that, Mark. So I'll start. Netanyahu, on the other hand, says the entire world is not just America. Everyone wants us dead. Put a link to that. Gaza will neither support this or that. Something about, uh, I don't know how this, 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 He will not let terrorism back into the country, I guess. So what are you saying overall? Put a link to that. IDF drops leaflets offering huge rewards for Hamas leaders' locations. That from Jay Post. Got another one here from uh, the Turkey MP. Look at this. Says Israel won't escape wrath of Allah. Then suffers. I wonder what caused this heart attack. Uh, check it out. Allah'ın gazabından kurtulamayacaksınız. Hepinizi saygıyla selamlıyorum. Oh, I'm so good. I, is that something divine? I don't know. I have no idea. Other news going on. Russia has lost almost 90% of its uh, pre-war army, U.S. intelligence says. Uh, Far-right Polish lawmaker uses fire extinguisher on Hanukkah candles in Parliament. I'm not Polish sure if this is World War III related, but... Used a fire uh, extinguisher to put out Hanukkah candles in the country's parliament on Tuesday. I didn't think that was very nice. during an event with members of the Jewish community. He just, he just, he just go crazy with him. Wow. Uh, we got more missile strikes hit merchant ships in the Red Sea. Now, this is one story. Now, this is the next one. This is a separate bombing missile fired from Yemen skies. Uh, cargo ship uh, in Red Sea hours after earlier attack. Times are, so there's all kinds of going, shit going on in the Red Sea. U.S.-Chinese military hotline has not been restored month after the summit. What's going on? I don't know. And I got one at the bottom. Apparently, we've been seeing uh, downtown Dallas alarmed by low-flying helicopters. Not the first time we've seen this, but we I don't think we've seen this in a while. Remember back in like 2009, 2010, we were all over the country. Uh, is that shit starting up again? Is, or is this World War III related? I have no idea. Over to Earth Changes in 2012 news. Got the earthquake set up for six points and above for the past week. We have 6-1 on the 11th, 6-4 on the 10th. A little bit of a more of a calm week compared to what we had last week. I'll put a link to the earthquake. Got a lot of fives going on. We do have an update on the uh, Iceland volcano. Uh, magma pulls near power station. Eruption risk. You know, they're still in limbo in Iceland, so I uh, just did one of the prior notes. This came out on December 15, so just the uh, latest news I could find. Speaking of power outage, FDNRI races to rescue New Yorkers trapped in dark elevators. Big Apple, New Jersey, plunged into darkness uh, by Con Edison uh, power plant explosion. So I don't know what's going on there. Kind of weird when I just watched that movie. What's it all about? Woo. Uh, we got an update on the Aliquippa water attack. Apparently, FBI says cyber attack against Aliquippa water. Authority was targeted escalation of overlooked technology, whatever that means. Just an update there. Speaking of water, though, California to consider toilet to tap water reuse regulations next week. Toilet to tap water. Hmm, that's lovely. UN Climate Change uh, Summit serving gourmet burgers and barbecue as it calls for Americans to stop eating meat. Put a link to that. Now scientists say breathing is bad for the environment. Uh, we exhale, the gases we exhale uh, contribute to 0 0.1 uh, of UK's greenhouse gas emissions. I guess they want us to stop breathing. How about all the animals we kill? Raise, we raise 18 billion animals a year and then don't even eat them. I just thought that was alarming. I want to throw that in. Out in space, just might take care of us all. Uh, largest solar flare in years poses major risk in multiple critical systems. It's gone December 6th. Meanwhile, I got the updated no, the uh, Space Weather Prediction Center. Uh, did this happen on Thursday? I don't know, but this big, big thing's going. Stuff's flying out the sun. Might kill everybody. I just thought you might be, want to be aware of that.
Uh, we got some other ones here. We get a dinosaur, a huge sea monster emerges from uh, Dorset Cliffs. I, don't, I, 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 I thought that was cool on a threat. And out in deep space, we got Voyager 1 sent back repeating patterns of ones and zeros in interstellar space. Probably aliens telling the satellite to go away. We don't want your kind here. Over to Strange and Bizarre News, be advised. Uh, some graphic content coming up. Some of them I'm not even going to show because it's just, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, we got in world's first known case, man tears windpipe holding a sneeze. Do not hold your sneeze. Let it out. It's okay. You could tear your windpipe. Sneezes are killing people. Put a link to that. Man's death. Look at this. Outside restaurant. Uh, he pairs accidental. Looks like having him. Multiple sources telling News Center 5 the victim in this case was stabbed by a knife that was attached to something he was wearing around his own neck. Now, the victim in this case has been identified. The man apparently fell onto his own knife that he was. I mean, how unlucky. Uh, we got this going on at your local McDonald's. Not sure where, but it doesn't really matter. Be careful, quick. You fucking win a heavyweight. Are you gonna shoot me in my pinto? Uh, we got uh, Colorado refs brawling. Now, when the refs, this is the true sign of the apocalypse right here. When the referees are going at it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I gotta kick your ass. Come here. <laughs> oh my God, the referees are just in front of the kids too. Oh my God. Lawsuit filed in St. Louis after funeral home sends man's brain home with his family. Definitely not a laughing issue. I, I probably uh, organized these the wrong way. I'm sorry. Uh, very. And you got this here. Naked man found atop headless mom in Jersey. This is strange and bizarre news, people. I, I don't sugarcoat this shit. I see something strange and bizarre. It's absolutely some of it's some of it we can laugh about. Some of it's absolutely sickening. But this, I'm not going to ignore things that are happening because people might be sensitive. And 12, a uh, 12 year old in St. Louis shoots his mother's boyfriend in North St. Louis. What'd you say, my mama, mama? Put a link to that. St. Louis man also tells police that NCIS agent told him to steal electrical transformer. Now I find this one funny. Put a link to that. <laughs> New Jersey man. Uh, let's see. Uh, who screamed racial slurs and his black neighbors jailed for eight years after shocking video of his abuse. Now he comes up. In my, in my opinion, I think he got what he, he's, he's all up in this guy's face standing in his board. He's talking about this is public property. I don't understand. Uh, so he got eight years. Don't be a douchebag. The terrifying moment, Ukrainian official, this is the one I am not going to play. It is exactly what it sounds like. Multiple grenades were detonated. He said, I want to speak. I want to speak. I got something to say. Man throws grenades into the room, and what happens next? They have the video of it. I'm not playing it. Satanic display at Iowa Capitol. Vandalized beyond repair. Arrest made. And speaking of that, I got one more here. Check this out. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, or your grace. Uh, my eyes are tattooed. My nose is a piercing. I identify as a threat. So you can breathe out, out of the nose like that? So please bow down to me. Huh. I do not believe in God. I don't worship the devil. But yes, I am a Satanist, which Obviously. means I am my own God and I worship myself. Thank you. Have a good day. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I can't believe we got through it that quick. Did I, how long is this one? I don't know. For all the news, please check my favorite videos. We got the uh, nationwide cyber attack pending uh, Civil War 2024 predict. He's talking about the movie that I just watched. The, uh, the trailer to it is right below. Leave the world behind. Watch it if you want. It's, it's you know, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, it's nothing you don't already know. Cyber attack, power grid, bombs, you know, nobody knows what's going on. You know, the nuclear... It's, 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 but Julia Roberts still looks good. And like I said, Remy Danton's in the movie. It's good to see him. And uh, the, his daughter was kind of a bitch. But, uh, you know, the guy... I think that I think it's a guy from Training Day that was Denzel Washington's partner in Training Day. Anyway, this is a decent movie. You know... Uh, Definitely, you know, check it out if you got Netflix. We got uh, this horse trampled some guy. Uh, I have to look into that again. I forgot what that, but the horse did run over someone. We got ceasefire. Oh, yeah, L.A. freeway shut down. Big people on the highway everywhere. So it's crazy in L.A. Uh, shout out to Frankie McDonald. Major earthquake to hit California sometime in 24. Definitely. Oh, you got to check out this traffic stop. Oh, my God. I got to tell you. Look, look, look. Porch Pyre, you, if you check out anything in my favorites, you got to check this out. She got busted with a car full of packages that she was stealing off people's porches. And then she told the cops that they were stealing the packages in order to build gingerbread houses. The most uncomfortable and crazy lying traffic stop I've ever seen in my life. You gotta check and a big thank you to people who still put out content, keeping everybody informed. Uh, you guys are doing awesome work. Check out my favorites, definitely. A couple shout-outs. Well, this isn't really a shout-out. This is a more of now versus then kind of a thing. I just want to bring it to this. This is Jill Biden's... Uh, holiday wishes to the country. A bit of magic, wonder, and joy brought to you by talented tappers, tap dancing performances. You know, not one time in this video will you see Jesus or an activity scene or anything. You see a bunch of, uh, you got a sheeple there. That's some eyes wide shut shit right there. Uh, I mean, you can watch this whole thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you privy to it. It goes on like this for two and a half minutes. It's a bunch of. 
trust me, it gets worse. The real shout out is to Melania Trump. And the comments of Jill's, it's funny when you read the comments under Jill's uh, house. No one likes this woman, what she posts. This was posted, and this just brought me to tears because this is from 2017, apparently. But um, somebody posted this. They said, Today's First Lady, First Lady in 2017. Yeah, quite a difference. Quite a difference. me want to cry, man. How things used to be versus how they are now, all the darkness. This was such a beautiful video. That's what it's all about. Tell me your thoughts. That's all I got, guys. I swear to God, I just want to cry. You can follow me at all my links below the Patreon, the uh, Bitch Youth Gab, the Facebook page. You can support me on Patreon or the donor box. Um, but I don't know. I saw that video and it just, I watched it like a dozen times. Uh, no matter if you're a religious person or not, I mean, you, it's Christmas time. You know? It's not time to tap dance and have weird Illuminati shit. Melania Trump knew that. Jill Biden. Whatever. That's all I got for this week. Uh, tell me your thoughts on what's going on in the world. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. All that. I, don't, I, for, I get, forgot my whole train of thought. It's just it's darkness we're enveloped in. Um, it's a chilly 49 degrees, 48 degrees in St. Louis. Raining. Thank God. It's above freezing because this would be a hell of a lot of snow. Uh, what's the weather like where you guys are? You guys, everybody okay? Everybody safe? Everybody warm? Uh, I got a window. I got a. It's 48 degrees. And I got a fan blowing in the window. I mean, it's just, oh, I get overheated in doing these reports. And I'm just like, I need some cold air. <laughs> That's it. I've rambled long enough. You guys take care. Stay safe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on another uh, Sunday. I, let's see. I think what is it? Monday next? Is it Monday? Christmas? I have to look at the calendar. I should be able to do a report next week. I don't have anything planned for Christmas, so, um, because, you know, I, it's kind of by myself at the moment. So, uh, I hope you guys have a safe, for some reason I don't make a video next week. Hope you guys have a very safe and happy Christmas and happy holidays and happy whatever you celebrate. Um, till the next one, you guys take care, stay safe. I love you very much. Remain vigilant. Watch what's going on in the world. You never know what's coming next. I'll see you on the next one.